The 1,200 account was 1,650,098. Correct. The 1,205 stayed at 37,850. Yep. The no, 805. 805, sorry. 37,805. Correct. Did you skip 1,200? Nope. The uh, 1280 account was uh, the enrichment was 191,447. Correct. Co curricula 1410 account was $42,427. Yep. 1420 athletics $52,214. Correct. Summer school 1430 was $16,412.15. Correct. Right? Yep. Guidance 2120 was 218,018 dollars. That's where I didn't reduce, right? Yep, right. 215, 215,112 dollars and 83 cents. Okay. Health services was 89,932 dollars and six cents. Correct. Speech 110, 746. Correct. Oh, 743. Or 43, sorry. The 2210, $72,826. Correct. 2220, Library and Media, $120,403. Correct. School Board was 5310, or $53,010. Correct. SAU was 231194 Correct. Principal's office, $351,750.75. Correct. Business services, $116,762. Correct. Building maintenance, $799,236.59. 99 cents, but sure. 99 cents, <laughs> okay. Basic tr transportation contract, $364. Excuse me, $364,601. Correct. 2722 Special Ed Transportation, $171,280. Correct. And Transportation Athletics, $13,761. Correct. And then Fields Trips was $11,500. Correct. What you get, Lauren? I'm still going. I was off. Yeah, I was off by that top number I hadn't taken. Which is three hundred and ninety-five dollars. Difference we were. Okay. All right, so, so that's the number I'll, I get. Okay. Did you get it? Do you have a number? I'm waiting for Lauren. I was reading them off. Seven thousand. I think we have it, but Eight one six eight three six seven. One three four or eight one hundred and thirty four thousand three hundred and forty eight dollars and sixty cents. No, I get eight million one thirty six eight fifty nine. I'm not sure if I have this one right. What's the number for <coughs> principal's office? Three fifty one seven fifty point seven five. 
Eight million one hundred thirty-six thousand eight hundred fifty-eight dollars and sixty cents. Bingo. Close right. enough. Off thirty cents. I don't. All right. What do you got, Mark? The material. Eight million one hundred thirty-six. Eight million one hundred thirty-six thousand eight hundred fifty-eight dollars and sixty cents. That's the subtotal. That's the subtotal. Yep. All right. All right and then. Uh, Prospect Mountain, 2320, is uh, is this, uh, this is to Linda, is this what the school board recommended or is this what the Alton and Bonstead JMA reduced that by? Which number, which one are you looking at? JMA number. The uh, 2320 Prospect Mountain High School. Which document are you've you? You've got. Uh, you've got. Uh, I guess you have three million three hundred thirty thousand six hundred seventy-four dollars. Is the Alton share? Is that correct? I don't think I have it in there whatsoever. I'm I looking at. I don't see that. This sheet right here. Uh, no. Would that, did you just carry over the last year's number there? No, I I have a document from the business administrator. I I unless. You guys have a different sheet than I have. I don't have a number. This is the packing you can't develop. Okay. That's why I don't have a budget committee. That's the 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 budget committee. I have an official email from Chuck Stewart, the business administrator at Prospect Mountain High School, that stated the Prospect Mountain School Board at its meeting of 12-20-2011 voted for a bottom line budget of $6,899,751. The percentage breakdown apportionment will be Alton at 52.7%, 
is $3,636,169. So now my question to you is, is did you take the JMA Budget Committee's recommendation to reduce that budget, or did you not take it? Any of their recommendations? We did take all of them. Not all of them. Not all of them. Which ones? <clears throat> She's got it by email only. It's not in here. So I don't know how we can vote on it. Ain't in here, right? You tell me what they were. I'll tell you what we did. All right, wrong. Okay. There was approximately 22 recommendations from the JMA Budget Committee. We did some of the similar ones that we did this. Um, I don't know, 22. No, I'm trying to find my... Uh... The JMA recommended $127,416 in reductions. How much did the school board recommend, if any? I don't know the number off the top of my head. Yeah, I don't know the number off the top of my head. I'm sorry. Then how are we going? So we can't vote. I know we made some reductions, but do I... Do you have other members of the school board here? Do you want to ask them? I don't think anybody's going to know that number off the top of their head. Steve. Steve. What? Because we have not been writing either. Fourth of July budget. 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 So wait a minute. The number... Hey, wait a minute. The number... They don't have wait a minute. number. Kathy, the number you gave me was six billion eight hundred ninety-nine thousand seven fifty-one. That's correct, based on the. And between the two, JMA and Alton Budget Committee recommended a bottom line budget of six million eight hundred forty-two thousand nine hundred ninety-one dollars. I'm just. Okay. That's all right. Uh, so uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Yep. Okay. Um, the bottom line budget of. Six million four hundred eighty-two thousand nine hundred ninety-one dollars. Eight hundred forty. Eight forty-two is what I had. You have eight forty-two. Yeah. So ninety-nine seven fifty-one. Zero. Seven. Uh, so we made fifty-seven. You can't vote on this, anyways. I mean, you can't take and vote on an email. Well, we haven't voted on what we were going to give to the high school yet. We can reduce that line if we want to when we vote. But we've got to have it in, now, on a page or something. We can't vote on. We can't cut an email. No, we we can we can we can recommend not to fund that line to the full. Excuse can me. recommend that. Right, but that line we can vote to recommend we that we're only going to fund right. so much. Could you say the number again of what the joint committees? Yeah. The joint committees had six million eight hundred and forty two thousand nine hundred and ninety one dollars. Six eight four two nine nine one. Nine nine one. And what is the percentage? Fifty two fifty two point seven. That's correct. Is that the number that you just read though? And, and no. No, 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 no. Chuck, it's no. different. That's correct. The school board recommended yeah. something different. Six eight nine nine seven yeah. five one. So what's 52.7 so we can put a number in there? He's doing Eight, it. Nine, I think seven, Lauren's seven, doing five, it. Get three, six, five, one. Zero, <laughs> six, two, <clears throat> five, six. Steve, can I ask you a question for a moment? The Joint Budget Committee, does it have the same exact um, Powers, yeah, as the Alton Budget Committee. No, no, we're no. just advisory. Okay. We're just, we're just advisory, but we can recommend but, what, that line to be funded at, or not funded. However, when you make that recommendation here at the Alton from, Budget it's Committee, it's going to come from somewhere else. It will come out of the Alton Central I, School Budget, and I want that very clear to members of the public here okay. that anything that you cut out of the Prospect Mountain Budget comes out of the Alton Central School students. Well, I think, we have to fully I think, fund what the Prospect Mountain Board approves. Good. We have to gross appropriate that so number. What is our but the, there's only, the only way the school board's going to start to look at the budget committee, the JMA budget committee, is to cut that line, whether it comes out of this school or not. 
I mean, it wasn't like they cut that budget in half. They didn't cut a lot out of that budget. And I think the school board needs to take a hard look at it because the school board is a little hoopy here on their spending. Hi. The, um, okay, uh, okay, I chaired the JMA budget committee. And uh, we spent, I'm going to guess, five days um, and a significant amount of hours going over the budget on a line-by-line -line basis. Both Barnstead and Alton agreed to reduce the JMA budget originally by $150,616, and after the, after the public hearing, we, dis, um, we, we, do, uh, we put back some dollars and reduced it by $127,416. Okay. So the, the simple question is this. <coughs> that was our duty, okay, and which is you know, specified in the JMA agreement. We also have a duty to uh, come back to the Alton <coughs> Budget Committee Correct. and tell the Budget Committee these are the cuts that were, the reductions are additions that were recommended by the JMA. Correct. The, and th at that point, the Alton Budget Committee votes to recommend or not recommend that Prospect Mountain High School number, the 52, uh, or the 52 percent that we have to pay, or some alternative number. If we cannot come back and recommend an alternative number, will somebody tell me why we showed up at all? That's part of the JMA. Yeah, I mean, that's, why did we have the meet? Why did we have the meetings, right? If we cannot come here recommend, uh, you know, to the uh, budget committee the reductions on a line-by-line -line basis and defend it, of course, and then have the Alton Budget Committee, uh, you know, vote to either go along with the 127000 or our percentage of the $127,000 reductions or not. I understand that, and that happens in a different venue. Right. And that money comes directly out of the students at Alton mm -hmm. Central School. And it also, and also as well as Bonstead, if they vote the same way as well. Yes. Sure. That's the way it was designed. All right. So what did you come up with for that number with 52.7%? 360656. Six. So 60 cents? No, 256. Oh, 259913 dollars So $3,606,256? What I got. Yep, I got that too. Can, can you repeat that? That's Alton's share. And that's Alton's share for the Prospect Mountain High School. $3,606,256. Right. $29,913 less than what the JMA board is emailing. Yeah. So they did take some of the cuts. My, my suggestion would be is that um, we go over, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll list out the individual reductions that were recommended by the joint, by the joint budget committee. Can I get it? And if hypothetically 100 percent are agreed upon, the 52 point whatever 7 percent of 127,416 dollars would be the recommended deduction, recommended deduction from the school board budget, which would be the recommended budget from the budget committee. I don't think we need to go line by line. Okay. To this is what <coughs> three people from the budget committee recommended. I'm sure the rest of the budget committee would go along with it. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Yes. So that's the number that we'll wind up using, 3,606,256,000. But Mr. Chairman, is this I, a function where we have public input on this? Just yeah, because yeah, we're going to have public input on it. Okay. Mr. Chairman, in order for the, in order for there to be accurate public input, they really have to you know, Did they, it, they have to know not. more than the gross number what's coming. That's where right. it comes We from. already had a public hearing on the high school budget. Okay, Mark, what was your number? That 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 we already mm -hmm. had that public hearing on that budget. I understand, right? So if they but, wanted public input, then. 
Yes, we didn't have anybody that really showed up. Uh, correct, input. but this is just a line in right. the Alton budget at this point. So, and that's the recommendation that the budget committee is re recommending is three million six hundred and six thousand two hundred fifty-six dollars in that line. We can take public input on that line. Any public input? I guess what I want, can I speak? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Just as somebody who's looking out for the interests of Alton Central School, it's really tough when we have the public hearing and we have this Prospect Mountain, these Prospect Mountain reductions, and I feel that our school and our district did a really good job at presenting a budget that was a significant, I'm asking Kathy for an approximate decrease from last year, and I know she doesn't like to do approximations, but um, you know we're coming in far below what we requested last year because we're being really conscientious, and I think we're trying to be really transparent about presenting exactly what we need. And it's tough for me um, in a situation like this when the other reductions are made to know that even though we came in with a greatly reduced budget, that these cuts, because of Prospect Mountain High School, are going to come directly from Alton Central School students. Well, I think that's where you should go to the board and explain to them about that budget and why is it coming out of your budget when they are not doing their job. In fact, are there not current board members who are part of the JMA? Uh, first of in, all, in this school board, we have a problem with. They like to take every penny they can get their hands on. I, I don't agree and with I, you. Well, I do. Oh, yeah, that, we don't need and, and I think that it it wasn't a big cut over in that system it wasn't devastating or anything else they were relatively small cuts and I think that the school board could have listened to it instead of just putting it aside and saying nah we really want to do our little pet projects is is it really fair for the JMA to not have a second pair of eyes looking at them that they effectively if 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 we if we take your stance, and I understand it 100%, yeah, and not we're fair. not we're not in the business of punishing Alton Central School. We're not. We're not. Okay, but it, that means they can come up with any budget they want. The school board, mm -hmm. the Prospect Mountain School Board, can come up with any budget they want, and because there's no set of eyes for a second opinion, that's what automatically goes into the Alton Central School budget, and it has to be passed, and it always has to be passed for the exact same reason. The reason is it'll come out of the Alton Central School. I didn't. We didn't create the rules. All we're doing is going by the rules. I also find it very interesting with the millions of dollars in these budgets, ultimately it always falls on the shoulders of the children. We never, ever, ever say it'll affect administration, it'll never affect transportation, it'll never affect something that isn't going to be. It's always the children. And that's because absolutely everything that's in place in the district is in place for the children. No, yes, that's because retirement. that's where you get the most reaction out of the people yeah. is when you say it's coming out of the children. All right, that's, that's enough why. from the budget committee. Well, we're going to go public input. <laughs> okay. We'll wait. We'll go public input. Just step up and announce your name in the mic. My name is Christine Heichel, um, and I have three children, very young. I did not go to the Prospect Mountain deliberative session. I don't have high school children. I had heard through the grapevine that there were cuts. They were made. They are very drastic up there, but I did not get the opportunity to go up myself because my interest is here in my small children in the elementary school, and I know there are parents here that are interested in their small children in their elementary school. You have lots and lots of meetings. I, my hat's off to you that you go to all of these, but many of us focus on where our kids are and where we are now, so I think we would like to know. I've heard that all server maintenance has been wiped clean from the high school, so I would like to know if that was in fact something true. So could you please actually go line by line and let us know sure. what you are doing because I care about my kids. Right. And I want money for my children at the central school, and I don't want it to go to the high school. And that's my bottom line. $6.8 million dollar budget at the high school. We, we effectively cut $127,000. We tried to cut 150. And you think $127,000 from a $6.8 million dollar budget is a drastic cut? I have a problem with that definition. Hey, Steve, Steve actually has the line by line, so yeah. he, can, he can do them. Steve, uh, do we have, uh, Mark, do we have access to what the school board 
agreed to on the cuts because it looks oh, like about 50, yes. about 50 percent yes, of the recommendations right. were taken the other 50 percent were not it'd be really good to know which the 50 percent were not does somebody have them from the school board no do you have them? nobody has them from the school board you have them Chris, Chris, do you have them you have them if you want it if we if we yes we would love them please do you want me to go over the cuts first steve will go over the cuts that they did first This is at the high school level. Okay. First of all, out of the um, out of the general education account, we reduced dues and fees by two hundred and seventy dollars. We did that across the board for dues and fees that were not directly um, geared towards the student, but for professional development of the individual teacher. Are professional that effectively, that effectively um, uh, increase their resume. That's all they did. So anything that effectively was for the benefit of just the professional, um, we reduced. So we did not reduce all dues and fees. We were very specific in which ones we chose. We reduced, we made a cut of $1,365 for a euphonium. That's a tuba. Okay? We reduced computers $27,300. The reason is there was a four, it was a four-year um, replacement plan, and it was decided that based on the state of technology, a five-year replacement plan would make a lot of economic sense in this environment. Service, servers and wireless, wireless was reduced $7,356. One of the board members uh, what is the um, main is the main supervisor for servers in Concord in the state of New Hampshire that anyways that was his job he went through a long explanation of what it ta what takes what it means to keep a server maintain it and what the uh, and what the um, age limit is on a server so this wasn't done just off the top of our heads um, the uh, an increase of $1,000 was reduced for maintenance uh, because the school was getting old for phones and bells because the, stool was, the um, school was getting older. Uh, a 2% um, raise increase for special ed was reduced, and that was a feeling across the board in terms of um, uh, raises. Uh, on the 21 20, Again, fees and dues were reduced $1,070. Improvement of instruction was reduced $2,250, eliminating one motivational speaker. Library and media were reduced $9,835. I'm trying to think of why. I'm going to guess it's probably level funded, but I'm not sure off the top of my head. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I got the breakdown. $7,115 was for the new projectors, $220 for dues and fees, and $2,500 for books. Distance learning, there was a reduction of $6,000 for Mandarin Chinese. An increase of vice president's salary of $5,500 was uh, reduced because that was to be used as a recruiting tool, not for somebody who was actually there. Dues and fees were again were reduced 1795 and food was reduced 2000 out of the principal's budget not for the kids <coughs> and the building and maintenance $13,000 was uh, they um, the school wanted to um, have a significant maintenance of the baseball field we didn't think this was the appropriate time to do it I think it was for irrigation $15,000 was reduced in the electricity account $1,185 in the repair and maintenance account to make it level funded. Athletic transportation was reduced $1,300 to make it level funded from last year since you're on a continuing contract. The, uh, that was essentially where $127,416 came from. Well, I know where 13 of the 29 is we put back in the baseball. You did. We did. Yeah. Okay. So that's 13 of the 29. So that means 16 more. I couldn't tell you exactly where. I think Got the. Uh, Hi. 
Just letting Linda finish. You ready? Yep. Okay. The board um, unanimously approved to eliminate several items from the budget that the Joint Budget Committee recommended, and those items included a euphonium, which I didn't know what that was until Steve said it a minute ago, um, for the general education account for $5,246 for servers and $11,200 for computers in the 1140 technology account. $2,250 from the 2210 Improvement of Instruction account, $1,795 in the 1200 Special Education account that would have resulted in 2% raises, uh, $6,000 in the Distance Learning 2224 account, $27,315 in the 2320 Superintendent's account for a 2% raise, 13000 for the field maintenance and $1,185 in repairs and maintenance in the 2600 buildings maintenance account. And finally, $1,300 in the 2724 transportation for athletics account. So um, what that boils down to is Alton's portion of those reductions that were accepted and those were what was actually more than what was recommended by the JMA Finance Committee. They came forward that evening on the 20th of December with their recommendations to the board. The board actually cut more than what the JMA Finance Committee's recommendations were um, by a difference of, I believe, about $20,000, and that's an estimate. Um, but Alton's portion of that is a $29,000 increase from the previous year is all you're looking at for a difference. The bottom line of the two budgets from what was adopted by the JMA um, board and the previous year's budget, again, is $29,913. To, to cut that difference from the Alton Central School budget, because the numbers weren't adopted by the JMA uh, school board, after consideration and after going above and beyond the Finance Committee's recommendations and findings, um, would be a punitive action in my opinion and uh, would basically be holding a gun to the head of, of Alton Central. You've got Prospect Mountain, which is a Cine and a Dinny, which means it's a school in, in need of improvement and a district in need of improvement. Um, you know, to cut funds from them, you know, there's a lot of things that the board did consider and did accept with no problem at all. There are some things, however, such as being able to have a ball game on our own fields at that beautiful school really needs needs to be taken care of and it's something that needs to be maintenance. I don't think a $29,000 increase from one year to the next is an inconsiderate increase. How have we been irrigating them so far? <laughs> um, they have been irrigated. From what I understand, there's um, some issues with how the, um, the soil layers were put down. Loring might be able to speak to this a little bit more because he's familiar with some of the issues that we had after construction. This isn't anything that's covered um, this isn't anything that's covered under insurance after construction or anything like that. That's stuff that we have looked into. We've looked at every cost-effective way we have to try to fix those fields. Bottom line is there needs to be some maintenance done to them and there needs to be some changes done to, to the top levels of them. That's something the business administrator from Prospect can address for you if you want. But quite frankly, this is stuff that the budget committee, when the JMA budget committee met, should have gone over and, and discussed at that time. And perhaps they have information from it. So Steve from their findings when they met. Thank you. Uh, yep. I'm just looking at this yellow page. We go down to the Prospect Mountain High School. I see that the adopted budget in 2011-12 was 3365664. Mm -hmm. Yep. Correct? Yep. This year, our portion, if we go along with the joint board is 3606-256. That's $240,592. You divide that by the 3365, that's a 7.15% increase. Mm -hmm. That's a 7% increase. I think Mrs. Heichel is correct. Now you take our number <clears throat> and you take the number from last year's actual in that same sheet and we're decreasing the elementary school by 1%. 86, 498 by 2822 The elementary is being cut 1%, the high and the high school up. is going up 7.1%, 0.15%. I can address that actually quite easily. Um, it's, it's enrollment. It's 
Excuse well, me, I'm sorry, Barbara, go Let ahead. Speak. I said that is not something the budget committee can fix. It's a it's a procedural no, 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 it's, no, the, it's procedure that's in place. The numbers are different. It's by, it's, we have an increase in enrollment. We have a difference now. In the past, Barnstead, it's... Oh, it's been 50-50 usually. It's been almost 50-50. Now it's like 52% is Alton and 48% now is... Percentage flip-flop, yeah, so that so adds we, to the... So we're paying we were 51 more. last year. We were at about 48, and it 49 changes last from year to year based on... 52 an, this year. Yes. Yeah, and it's based on enrollment, but... Well, the 1% no, change don't constitute... 48 last 7 year. 7% rise. Last year. We were 48, 48 last year. We were 48. 48. Yeah. Oh. It's 52 yeah. now. So, so this impacts us more than... So it... Right, and that's and it's because of the way it, it's because of the way it's split out by student enrollment. All right, then. So, what's the bottom line numbers then? What is the increase without the percentage? What increase bottom line of the six? What's, what's the increase in the six eight nine know. nine seven five one? That I don't have. What was the number last year then for the total? Because uh, a, that's an excellent point she made. You're cutting the elementary 1% and, and the high school is going up 5 or 6 or 7%? Mm-hmm. I don't have anything on me to show me what how the How else can you stop is. the high school from overspending? There's no way to do it because it, the, their board, line board. automatically goes in to the budget unless we, there is a recommendation to change it. Hey, Krista. So... Your number for the percentage for Alton would be $3,635,756, is that correct? Hang on one second. Because I took our number and added 29.5. Let me just double check it, hang on. I'm just asking. Our number plus 29.913. Yeah, 29.913. Yeah, that's what I've got. So what do you get? From $29,913 oh, is the difference between yes. our portion. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, for our portion, because right. you've you got to look at this by portion for each year. You know, there might be, the, the previous year, Barnstead saw a similar jump, and it's by, the, it's by student enrollment. It's split, if it was, you know, if we had 200 kids exactly from each district, it would be a 50-50 split. However, when you have more from one sending district than the other, your numbers are going to change. Well, not counting the split, just the base number that each is working off of, what was the increase, what was last year's bottom? See, I don't have the total yeah. prospect number on me. I don't have last year's total prospect number. I mean, I, I can get that for you if you give me a few minutes. I can try to look it up. If someone can go to prospects, I don't know if their website yeah, has I'm, the Yeah, I can budget. go to it right now. No. Wasn't it uh, six million eight hundred ninety-four thousand twenty-eight dollars? I don't want to guess. I'm not good at guessing. You don't have a book. Of it. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. In, you got the old book. I've got the Prospect Mountain High School book. Oh, you there do. You Ooh, kudos. Okay. So what was their total FY? What well, FY twelve? I'm saying the, this is what you guys adopted last year, right? Six million eight hundred ninety-four thousand twenty-eight dollars. That's what I'm asking. But then they end up going to default when, when we went to default. Yeah, but prospects only, funded at 100% of the Right. Only, have to. only Alton would have, only ACS would, would be default. impacted by a default budget. <clears throat> if we have a default budget, prospects still gets exactly what they asked for. How fair is that? That's the way it is, and there's already been case law on this. By contractual obligation, was, that's been mm -hmm. looked at one your, your, other time before. Your frustration with this has been felt more than once. There was actually a case law on this a while back, and it was something actually that Pat Fuller was quite involved in. So the Prospect Mountain High School went up $4,000, the budget. Total basically. overall, is that what you're... That's what I'm trying to find out. It's $4,000, not 7%. No, what number did Alton's you have, Mark? Right. going up 7%. Because we have Right, yeah. and it's... Yeah, but since Alton school board members are part of the Prospect Mountain High School Correct. board, yep. right, shouldn't the, the Alton school board and the Bonstead school board, right, understand that, it, that if the budget is too high and there are cuts to be made, 
you people are on the same board that it's going to come out of the um, elementary school and the middle school, mm -hmm. and it's never going to come out of the high school. And why haven't you, since 19, 2004 or 2005, put a stop to that? But Steve, if what Mark is saying money? is true, and the, the Prospect Mountain only went up by $4,000, what we're paying is the difference sure. in the what we're paying is the difference in the enrollment, in the enrollment the which is the we don't have control that over we, that right. there's there's so more not, there's, and Alton does get hit because of that but in the end then we have more kids up at the high school so we have to pay for more but of the services. as a school board member and you understand what the demographics are adjust for the taxpayers you know the demographics are changing because you know who's graduating from Alton. Yeah, but I if you're if you're just increasing the budget by four thousand at the high school it's not like I mean what else can you you know prices go up four thousand oh, when everybody's struggling you, you would think the school board would try to cut some of it yeah, instead of putting irrigation in and stuff around these fields. So now's the time to do a baseball field and well, a tuba let me tell you, and whatever. The baseball field, we've only played two games on the home, two games on the home field. No, I mean, the, 191 the, away games that absolutely emphatically we could not ever live without c cutting one away game. Hey, that, that the original out. high school budget, what they proposed was seven million twelve thousand. <laughs> Yeah. And then it got reduced to the six eight nine nine seven fifty one. So, yeah. public input. Okay. This is on the high school, right? Mm -hmm. Is this on the high school? This this is on the debate that's going on. Okay. Yes. Um, Rebecca McKellar, I have two students at Alton Central School, one in kindergarten and one in second grade. Um, I wanted to point out that cutting administration, transportation, to professional development in a school district does affect the children because. You're affecting the quality of people that we can retain in the school, and you're affecting, and thus affecting the education of our children. So don't pretend that it doesn't, because it does, because people will leave if we're not a competitive school district. Mm -hmm. Secondly, if you want to change the way that the budget is overseen and how things are run, and we have two different unions, and et cetera, et cetera, then that's, this is not the time to do it when you're going to be affecting the kids of Alton Central School. It's, there are better times to do this, not when you're going for a, for a vote. Um, and thirdly, that um, there's a certain bottom line that you have to maintain in order to, to have the beautiful high school that we do. It, there's a certain amount of money that, has, that goes into it, and things need to be, be maintained. To maintain the field right now is going to cost X amount of dollars. To do it, to, to, a, a whole overhaul because we didn't do the irrigation properly is going to cost a whole lot more in three, three, five years than it would right now to fix the problem. You've got to be proactive on these things or it's going to cost a lot more down the road. Thank you. I've got another one. Um, my name is Steve Renner. I'm also a parent at Alton Central School of two um, successful children in the program. Um, I think a few of the teachers would attest to that. Um, first of all, it was very interesting to watch everyone appear with calculators for a very long time, when I'm pretty sure my second grader with paper and a pencil probably could have added up quicker and accurately. Should have brought them along. I, I, if it wasn't <laughs> past their bedtime, I would be happy to do that. Um, in terms of the comments made about it not affecting the children, as I sit here, and I, I have been to one other budget committee meeting, but I could also sit here and go line by line and tell you how each line of this, of this budget would affect my children. Out of the 21 different categories that are listed here, I would say routinely my kids probably use 17 of them. And I would be happy to go line by line and try my best to explain that. But there's already rumblings about how long this meeting is taking and how far along we are. <coughs> so just to reiterate what the last person said, these do affect the kids. Administration does affect the kids. My, my daughter loved having lunch with Mrs. Leggett this year, that she was gracious enough to take part of her day to spend with each of the kids in the second grade. It's fantastic, and it does loads for their um, enthusiasm, their desire to come to school every day. Just as an example of some of the, the administrative costs, if you will, that, uh, that we pay that, that have an effect on the kids. And lastly, I wasn't aware to the extent of the situation of the prospect fields, but however, to go beyond that and speak as a community member, I participate in the Alton Youth League as a coach. 
I participate in the Alton soft, adult softball program. And for the last, since that school has been uh, available, Alton Youth League and the Alton adult softball program have been denied every year use of that facility because of the supposed problems and conditions of that field. So it's not just a few high school baseball games that are affected by the quality of that field. There's those of us who would like to use that facility on a regular basis, both for other kids outside the school program and as adults, and we're not able to. If we can, if we can make progress towards addressing these kinds of issues, it'll help our community, it'll help the students, and it'll, it'll bring people to Alton if we can provide them with opportunities that you know, give us some competitive edge or at least balance the play, level of playing field a little bit. Well, I think they play home. I go over and watch home games on those fields. So I think it's a matter of arguing with the school board to, yet to, to let the youth league use them. Hi. So, thank you. Thank you. I guess don't read the irrigation then. It's underwater. Nope. Don't. So what would be when you build in a Alton's portion for the high school? They shouldn't have been Just what would that number be at the 52.7% the out of the $6,899,751? It would be $3,636,169. Okay. okay. Anything else on that line? And am I correct that it would be 0.36% of the operating budget of 8199, oh, I'm sorry, that number, 8136858? Three-tenths of 1% of the, of the Alton Central School budget. That's the total. Well, that's, unless somebody, we can get the second grader up here to do the math, that's what I get. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. So if, the, uh, if this passes, and it passes in balance these cuts, then the JMA board can rethink their budget, can't they? No, because you can't change it after night, can yeah, you? Yeah, they can. After the budget's passed, and if Bonsard says they cut the same amount as Alton does, mm -hmm. then that joint board can go back and re-figure their budget. Yeah. Two years ago, there was a petition article to give the budget, the JMA Budget Committee mm -hmm. equal authority as the Budget Committee of each individual town. And the people turned it down because they, they, they don't want that oversight. So if they did that, if you redo your budget in the JMA, it yeah. won't affect the elementary. Right. That's right. Yes. And I think if you look at these numbers too, I see that in the budget in 2010-11 on this yellow sheet, 3356, the actual was 3309, <coughs> 234. So you had what? Over $30,000 right there? More savings? Mm-hmm. What yeah. you spent from what you asked mm -hmm. for? So there is some room there in past history. Well, I'm sure part of that, too, is the, uh, we, we always have that um, Surplus. professional development line. That, that's what we were trying to build up with the Warren article that we have, to have it over on the side. Because if you have to contractually budget for it, right. contractually budget for it every year. That's why we wanted it in the over there. And then we'll just replenish that. That's, I don't know. At least 30000 Were you going to buy a new telephone system with a surplus at all? No. No? No. That's not surplus. That's E-rate. Hmm? That's E-rate. It's not surplus. You ready? Mm hmm So then we have Capital Reserve Federal Projects of 100000 Food Service, $245,383. Capital Projects, we just left at a dollar. And we'd have to uh, vote on what we're going to decide in our next meeting on a fine. For what? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. For what? In our next meeting, we'll have to vote for our bottom line. Bottom line, okay. Yep. Quantum. 
Hi. I said bond something. No. Okay. I, 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 what time is it? It's only quarter to eight. So now it's uh, Warren articles? Correct. Did any of these Warren articles change since when we took our, posh, our uh, temporary vote? Yeah. I'm not sure we speak to those. Well, I know we took two out. You have a contract, which is contract. So I've got to start with Article 2, correct? Article 2. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's the same. All right. To determine the fixed salaries of the school board and the compensation of any other officer or agent of the district as follows. Moderator, 200 per meeting. Clerk, 200 per meeting. Treasurer, 2,000. Chairman of the school board, 2,100. School board members, 2,000. The cost of these items are included in the operating budget. And the school on these and now. the uh, budget committee approved that. Are we voting on these now, Mike? Or we no? did it. No. no. We just did a t temporary vote and we did pass that. Article 3. See if the school district will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $18 million, $18,800,615 for renovations, reconstruction, repairs, and construction of addition to the Alton Central School and for furnishing and equipping the school and to authorize the issuance of a not more than $18,042,000 of bonds or notes in accordance with the provision of the Mississippi Finance Act, RSA 33, and to authorize the school board to issue and to negotiate such bonds or notes and to determine the rate of interest thereon. Furthermore, to authorize the withdrawal of $19,832.20 from the Water Heater Capital Reserve Fund, $239,011.33 from the Fire Suppression Capital Reserve Fund, $25,741.22 from the Security Safety Expendable Trust Fund, $446.18 from the Electrical Services Upgrade Expendable Trust Fund, $31,103.52 from the Bathroom Refurbishment Expendable Trust Fund, $1,839,023 from the Windows Replacement Expendable Trust Fund, 440,660. Uh, what? That wasn't one million. What? what? Oh, For the, sorry. The $1,839.23 from the Windows Replacement okay. Expendable Trust Fund, $440,666.06 <coughs> .06 from the Buildings and Grounds Expendable Trust Fund, with a balance of $18,000,000. $42,000 and no cents, and further to raise and appropriate an additional sum of $410,956.67 for the first year's interest payment on the bond. I'm sure there's going to be public input on this one. The, uh, there was no school board rep going over this uh, Warren article when it was presented to the budget committee, so the budget committee turned it down. This is the time. Preliminary. The or the preliminary to turn it down. Yes, yeah, sorry. Hey, any public input on that one? Well, we preliminary turned it down. There was no school board rep here when the. When the, uh, we haven't had a school board rep. Or an article was for presented to us. Nobody Good bothered. We they get didn't answers, bother to so show up to defend up. their article. There was nobody from the school district here at all that can answer any questions. It hasn't been for the last. The school board. The school. No, nobody. Nobody from the school district. That's my question. Not elected no, I, I said school board. There was nobody here from the school board. No, there was nobody here. Nobody has been. Uh, no, wait a minute. We school got been here for a few minutes. Few Virgil. meetings. Again, my name is Steve Renner. This is, I'm also a member of the Alton Buildings and Grounds Committee, and I was here at that meeting, and I did offer public input. Right. I know I'm not an elected official, so I couldn't. But there were also, Mr. Parker and I were here. We we're both members of the Buildings and Grounds Committee. There were people here who could have addressed questions in an unofficial capacity, I guess you could say. So just to make that clear, because since that time, in anything that's been in the local media, there has been no reference to either Mr. Parker or I attending that meeting and being present for at least for portions of it to represent the work that we've done, in addition to people from the SAU office who are also here who could have addressed those issues. 
Aside then from that. You should have got up and, and he did, spoke he for did. it. He did. I did. Oh. I most certainly did. I don't recall seeing you here at that meeting. I was either. probably in the hospital. Yeah. Um, so, again, to speak as a parent, oh, I unofficial. feel that moving forward with this project is certainly valuable. I feel that there are a lot of reasons for why it is a good time to move forward with this project. Yes, it's a lot of money. And, and just to note, I do appreciate seeing this process and realizing how vigilant this committee is with how taxpayer money is spent. I certainly appreciate that as a taxpayer of Alton. However, I am also concerned about making sound investments. And I feel that this is a sound investment, not only because of having two children that will hopefully still be there when this facility is renovated, but also as someone who plans to stay in Alton who wants to see businesses attracted to Alton. I've only lived here for six years and I've seen more businesses close on Main Street than I have seen open. I feel that having a school facility that would be a plus, that would be a positive for this community and a draw additional um, population, a draw of businesses here, I'm a private educator for a nonprofit organization based in Rochester, and I travel throughout northern New England doing programs in schools. So I would say in the last 18 months of, of being employed there, I've probably been to 30 different schools. And with very small exception, there isn't a building that I walk into that says, boy, this facility is a lot nicer than where my kids go. Now, that doesn't necessarily translate to a better education, but the perception of comfort of feeling like it's a welcome place, feeling that it's an adequately climate controlled <laughs> place, that I can be up there in front of a group of kids presenting to two or three hundred kids and not be sweating or not be freezing <laughs> is a big deal. And when I hear that my kids come home and they're like, it was really hot in there, it was really cold in there, and I'm like, why are you thinking about that instead of thinking about what you should be thinking about when you go to school? So I hope that you'll take into consideration that, it, yes, it's great for the kids, but it's also going to be a great asset to the community when you're making a recommendation tonight. Well, to me, for f a four or six person larger enrollment than what we had in 88, I hope that this fails because I don't believe that we need another brand new building down there for $18 million. I mean, I think it's... It's crazy to build another brand new school. It's not. A, it's not a brand new. School. It's not even renovated. Just a renovate. I, I mean, you're talking. You're talking uh, six more student uh, enrollment than Virgil, we had in '88. Virgil, let the public put their input in. We don't need and to give public back input. Just to address that, and <clears throat> speaking as a Buildings and Grounds Committee member, a majority of the pro of the project expenses are going towards renovating that existing facility. There is, there will be. Is it three or five classrooms that will, three classrooms? Five left reused at the time. Five will be left unfinished out of this entire project. There For a six student there enlargement. He's speaking. There will be five classrooms that will not be utilized at this time. But when I think about how different education is now from when I was a kid, the, exp the expanses in just the types of programs that are offered and the additional space that's required for those programs, it's very likely that even without a, an increase in student population, those classrooms will be utilized within five years, say. So the other trend that I find interesting is that if you look at the U.S. Census data, Alton is one of the few Lakes Region communities that but in the last 10 years, despite the economic downturn and despite the last couple of years where this maybe has not been the case, but in 10 years there has been overall growth in Alton. It's an attractive place to live. It's a place that people will return to or come here from outside regions. I, like I said, I've only been here for six years. I spent most of my life in Philadelphia. I spent a few years in Maine and a couple in California. I'm here to stay. And I think that that's when people can afford to come back, when people can afford to buy property, I look around where I live now and there's roughly like 26 or 29 vacant approved subdivision lots that don't have houses on them yet. You think those 29 houses get built, how many kids is that? And that's only in a very small section none. of Alton. Pardon? 
Could be none. It could be done. And right now we have five extra classrooms to accommodate those kids. Yeah, but it could be none of, none of them have kids. It could be. Don't know. Hey. I mean, I'm done unless okay, anybody thanks. has any rebuttals nope, nope, that I'm. No, nope, no, nope, that's good. <laughs> There are more. That's all. Again, I'm Rebecca McKellar. Um, from what I understand it, when I was at the um, school board meeting yesterday, that 60 to 80 percent of this budget is for renovations that need to be good done regardless. So I don't see that putting in a little extra money to make sure that we have room for a population growth that is most likely going to happen given our proximity to Concord, Manchester, that we're on the lake. This is, I moved here three years ago because this is a desirable community to live in and I tell people about how much I love Alton every time I hear somebody who's looking to buy a house because this is a desirable community to live in. Fiddleheads, the business that just moved here, recognizes that Alton is a desirable community to live in. People are going to come as the economy improves. It's, it, it's a no-brainer. Um, and we need to ha be proactive and have a school ready to accommodate these children because I don't want to see my children in class sizes of 30 because we didn't approve this. Thank you. My name is Andy McLeod. I also have children in this school and a spouse who works in the school, just to let you know. Uh, when I, when I, I went to the uh, committee meeting, the school board committee meeting last night, and I saw this whole thing, and uh, uh, I'm starting to get into it. It's, it's new to me, so bear with me. Um, but when I saw it tonight, what I see tonight is, is the budget committee was upset because of the lack of representation of the school board, and therefore they voted, preliminary voted against this article. Am I correct in that? We couldn't vote. Take. We didn't have answers to the questions okay. for the numbers. We couldn't vote. Good. Thank you. Uh, but tonight, as soon as that was said, you all sat back. And as far as I can see, there's three school board members here. Am I right? Why did you not ask them to answer these questions? Ask them these questions that you're concerned about so we can get this process rolling. They can give you clear and concise answers, and they can do it in a respectful manner. I could ask why they weren't here when this we can, we was can, we can, it was We can run around in circles for years with right. the same answer. And I understand your frustration, and we're all people, and we're imperfect. Yep. I know I'm imperfect. Uh, but let's, let's get this thing rolling. Do you have questions for them, or do you just, have you just decided flat out, no, you don't want to spend the $18 million? I've decided. I already had. I'd, I'd like to to add something to the issue that I think deals with the cost, and I know Kathy did some work on this, so I'd like to have her address this. But one of the things that people are always concerned with is what is the actual impact for them? What does it what's translate it, to in dollars do per year on my taxes? In my, taxes. Right, taxes. In my bill. Maybe right. you should put this in the, like the paper. We Base will. Item. We will. And, and we are going to have a lot more information because people are concerned with each of the issues. And we do have articles coming up. And I do want to thank Steve Renner and his communications committee and all of the people that have contributed to getting that information out. Because people want the information. They need to understand what this project is about. And you've heard that a lot of this project, uh, it's estimated from our architect that it's 65% of this project will renovate what we need in this building, the HVAC, the windows, the bathrooms, the things that just need to be done. Not for growth, but for improvement of that building, to make it safer, to make it healthier, to make it just the way it should be for these kids. But people do want also to know, I'm paying a tax bill now, what's it going to be like for me in the most expensive year for me? Year one, when that bill comes out, we're only paying interest in year one because we'll sell the bond, we pay interest before we make a principal payment. Year two will be the most expensive year. If we sell that bond 
this year, you will not see an increase. You will see a decrease. But then year two, which will be 2014, FY 2014, there will be an increase in your taxes. That's after we retire the Prospect Mountain bond. But because you've been paying that Prospect Mountain bond, it was a 10-year bond, we are now going to be doing a 20-year bond. But because we're retiring the Prospect Mountain bond, which this year is 68 cents, We'll be selling that other bond, and you can see on that paper it's a dollar eleven. Dollar thirty-five. Is that per a thousand? We're, we're talking just. Let, we're, I'm talking right now at the Warren article you have in front of you. And if you, Virgil, if you flip that oh. sheet over, it shows you what the okay. change is, but not the. So Kathy did some calculations on some different houses in this town, and I'll let her take it over from here. If you would I, actually I don't want to pay interrupt. that. I'm sorry. I don't want to interrupt on Andy, because Andy was doing oh. public input. But I do have some very, very important information on tax impact and what it equates to dollar amounts. Well, let me ask you a question. Oh, two, two fourteen. Yeah, I'm better, sorry. Was Andy let Andy finish. I, I'm sorry. I did interrupt Andy. Are, are the, is this the questions? Are these the questions that we've been waiting for, or are there more? Steve, you're shaking your head. Huh? This, this, is, this is the venue for it. The venue for it is in the workshop or the meeting that's after this. It's not, at, it's not at the public hearing. The public hearing is to state what we've, uh, de what we've determined so far and get public input, and then we have a discussion, okay, and then it could be public input after that, and then we vote. But I think the public wants this information. Okay, I have yeah. no problem presenting yeah. this information. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else on the board have a problem? But I don't, Andy, I'm done, sorry, Andy? I did interrupt. Well, yeah, I, I got derailed. I don't have a problem with the presentation. Uh, so, uh,